Hey friends, Tux here. I have a cool product here for you today. This is a Thincobe 100 from thinkcar.com. And this is actually a car computer reader. So if you've ever had like your check engine light come on and you're curious, like is this something little? Is it just a sensor? Is this something major? This can give you a clue to help you figure out how self-diagnose what is wrong with the car, okay? This is available from Amazon and I will have a link for this right below. So be sure and click that link for the very best price okay but this could save you a lot of money over the long term because you know mechanics you see stories about it you hear about it sometimes they're a little on the the shady side do a little shenanigans with you know making bills a little bigger than they really need to be or having you fix things that don't need to be fixed or you know just charging you flat out for something that just isn't broke you know it's it's a really shady business sometimes and there's a lot of nice mechanics out there no doubt you know a lot of great firms like big dealers that are probably better than some smaller ones and some smaller ones are probably great too, but you know there are people out there that are out to maximize their profits on the consumer's car repair, you know? So this gives you a little ammo to know what's wrong, okay? You can see this comes in a beautiful little box here. Very cool, very stylish. It could be a nice gift. I like the, the little 3D kind of shiny graphic there. And there's a little picture of the unit. We'll show more about that in one second. On the side here, just talk about the specifications. It has the information for reaching out to them. Now looking at the back here, we do have some features here. This is basically a full OBDII diagnostics function, okay? So it can read clear codes clear codes that's great because every now and then your check engine light might get a flash a sensor like will lock it in as being a problem but maybe you want to clear that code and see if it pops up a second time you know freeze frame smog check that's good in certain states you need that anyway you know um i slash m re uh, readiness uh live data stream o2 sensor okay that's good for some states as well onboard monitoring and evap system test so good stuff it's plug and play it's a plug and play scan tool okay power supply is supplied directly from the vehicle so it's nice and easy to use including fault code library and will display the fault code to give you an idea what's going on for saving time searching which is nice it has a 3.2 foot okay long cord which is good for reaching down different cars have different sensor locations normally the sensor location is somewhere around your knee like uh, above the gas pedal below the steering wheel in that general vicinity um, but there are different in different cars so be sure and check out your you know car's owner manual to see where it's located sometimes it's under like a little plastic clip or something um, industrial design comfortable grip non-slip wear very good supports English French Spanish German Russian Italian and Portuguese so very cool and it's compatible with the uh, ISO 91 for one kwp 2000 j 1850 p wm j 1850 vpw and the C A N O B D I I protocol so very good stuff basically compatible with vehicles after 1996 okay which is a large quantity of the vehicles which are on the road today so anyway that would have a computer that would give codes like this so very good stuff all right, let's go ahead and open this up here. We'll go ahead and grab my little trusty scissors and give this a little choppy chop and we'll see what's inside the box. There we go. And popping this open. I think I had a hair on the scissors. That was a little bit weird. I don't know if you caught that or not. All right, looks like we have a little quality check. This past inspection, so very cool. And let's see what's in the box. Now later I may, I don't have any error codes in my car right now on my C7 Corvette, but I may do a live test of this later. If you're curious, um, let me know in the comments below. And if I get enough response, I may do a live demo. But for purposes of this video, this is a unboxing. Uh, thinkcar.com talks about different models they have. So there's all sorts of different models you can choose from. Um, and we'll put this, this is a, the smaller, cheaper one, but it's a great place to start to learn your codes. And again, it will save you a lot of money just going to a dealership to have them run a diagnostics would probably be in most cases they'll charge you at least an hour labor it'll probably be at least 100 bucks you know depending upon the dealer so this will pay for itself uh, before the first time you use it which is great okay on the front here looks like we have uh, several languages talks about the things um, diagnostic cable lcd screen up down arrows i think you guys understand all this usb port okay um okay button escape button and basically talks about preparation you know i turn the vehicle addition on you know uh, vehicle uh, <laughs> battery voltage should be between 9 and 18 volts throttle okay okay should be in a closed position okay 
uh, vehicle connection. Look for the vehicle's DLC socket, okay? And that's a diagnostic link connector, okay? And that's usually about 12 inches from the center of the steering wheel under the driver's side, just like I told you, okay? Uh, connect the cable to the vehicle's DLC tool and it automatically powers up and then the tool is ready to work. It has warranty information there. So pretty cool stuff. And again, this is in various languages, so they got you covered. And just to go ahead and show you the most important part here, the actual tool itself. Looks like we have two different things. Um, you guys know I love new cables with new devices. And sure enough here, we do have a USB. This is the older style kind of like fat boy USB right there, the older style USB and regular style USB that goes into a computer, okay? So this part right here would of course go into the base right here, okay? So this goes into here. I'll show you, let's plug it in real quick. Just like this is nice, wow, nice tight connector, brand new and tight. There we go, just like that. See it's plugged in. Unplug, very cool, okay. And this part right here, this cable here is what goes to your car, okay. And I'll take off the cap, it has a nice cap to keep it nice and clean, which is good. And there is a little pin connector that goes into your car's uh, computer. So very easy. And what is plugged in, this looks like it's very easy to use. We, we have um, up, down arrows, we have okay, and of course we have the reverse. And that's all there is to it. Um, I can't really show this without plugging into the car. And again, I don't have any codes in my car right now. So if you want me to run do a live demo later, just let me know in the comments below. But I think people who are shopping for this pretty much know that they have an error code and they pretty much will have a different point of connection for their car, unless you have a C7 Corvette like I do. So anyway, um, but all the instructions are very clear. Um, they're right here with it. So it'd be very easy to hook it up. And then from that point, once you plug it in, you click OK, and it goes through and it finds the error codes for you. OK, so hopefully this may help you down the road with a different type of problem where you're trying to figure out what is wrong with my car? Why is the air light going on? You know, and again, this is very inexpensive. At the time of buying this, I want to say it was about um, it was on sale. And I think it was about 20 bucks on Amazon, but I will have the current price, the very best current price for you in the link below so be sure and click that link okay if you guys have any questions about this particular computer reader for cars let me know in the comments below or if you had any experiences using them um, but it's the type of thing where i could tell you sometimes even like the slightest things in one of we have two c7 corvettes okay and in the black one that we have it has a aftermarket muffler like a flow master exhaust like a performance exhaust and because of that the computer has always had an error code and now we could actually check that and check that out and see what is wrong with it so that's very good in my red c7 corvette i have no error codes but when i first got it if you go back in my queue you'll see i did have a problem where it was saying the rear axle sensor was wrong and at the time i didn't have one of these but i so wish i would have been it would have been so great so that way i could have checked it out all right friends thanks for watching we'll talk to you soon bye bye click that link <laughs> Yeah, yeah.